Business people unite, because today we have the new ThinkPad P14S Generation 3. This is a lightweight device with a nice chunk of power, thanks to the Alder Lake P series and either integrated or discrete graphics, including a Quadro T550 from Nvidia. The P14S comes with several options for the materials. The gray models have an aluminum lid and a plastic base, while the black models can choose between a glass fiber polymer lid or a carbon fiber polymer lid and an aluminum base. Even weirder, our laptop has a magnesium bottom panel, which is very confusing. There's next to no flex from the lid or the base, which is great, all the while the laptop weighs only 1.24 kilograms and has a profile of 18 millimeters. The base has a fingerprint reader, a speaker grill, as well as a keyboard, a touchpad, and track point. Typing is pretty good, and the keys are spill resistant. The track point works flawlessly with the three buttons, while the touchpad is smooth to the touch, thanks to the mylar surface. However, the response from it is a bit slow. The input-output is kept on the left and right sides, as well as lots of optional stuff, which we have included. On the left, we have a LAN port, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI 2.1 port, one 5 gigabit full-sized USB port, and an audio jack. On the right side sits a smart card reader and one more full-sized 5 gigabit USB port. On the back, there's an optional SIM card tray. Moving to the front, we see the display, with decently sized bezels. There are several options, but we stopped for an FHD plus IPS panel. It's good for general use, with excellent viewing angles and 355 nits of peak brightness. Sadly, it covers only about 56% of the sRGB gamut, while accuracy doesn't improve a lot even with our design and gaming profile. Still, you can check out all our profiles in the link below. The ThinkPad comes with a 52.5 Watts hours battery pack, which lasts for 11 hours and 40 minutes of web browsing, or 6 hours and 51 minutes of video playback, when paired with the Core i5-1240p and the Quadro T550. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Alder Lake does provide a much needed increase in CPU performance, as the Core i5-1240p shines very bright. Compared to the Generation 2 laptop with a Core i7-1185G7, there is 60% more 3D rendering performance and a lead of 1.7 seconds in Photoshop. As for the graphics, the Quadro T550 is better than the T500 from last year, however, the integrated Radeon 680M inside the new Ryzen 6000 series CPU puts it to shame. The laptop is kept cool with two heat pipes, one fan, and some heat spreaders. The CPU chooses to remain cool over performing well, as it runs way below 2 GHz in prolonged loads while maintaining a 29 watts power limit and a temperature of only 66 degrees Celsius. The GPU does much better, showing higher clock speeds than the larger Dell Precision 153570 while running 3 degrees Celsius cooler. Comfort-wise, the single fan is a screamer, but it still doesn't reach gaming notebook levels of noise. The hotspot on the notebook isn't that warm as well, going as high as 44.7 degrees Celsius. Despite being one of the smaller laptops on the market, it does have decent upgradability, with one SODIMM slot for DDR4 memory and some soldered RAM. Storage-wise, there's a M.2 SSD slot for Generation 4 drives. We have a separate teardown video, which can show you how to access both the RAM and SSD slots. While not the best performing, the ThinkPad P14S Generation 3 makes up for it with its portable chassis, long battery life, and comfortable keyboard. The port selection is excellent as well, while the 12th generation Alder Lake CPUs bring good connectivity, making the laptop a great companion to do work on the go. For a deeper look, we have a more detailed review on our website, 
which we'll link down in the description.